Hello, wonderful people. It's another beautiful day and it's a very lovely day today. Well, you are watching The Click Show on great television. You know you can watch The Click Show on YouTube. And also we are live on Facebook at great television. You can also download the e-cable and watch us live from there. And you know, I know it's Easter and there are many activities going on in town right now. But hey, you know what? Whatever you are doing, stay focused. Be positive. Be strong. Keep fighting and I know you'll get what you want. Anyway, my name is the one and only Okonoria, your agony aunt. And today on this show, I've got with me some wonderful personnel on the show. In fact, what we are going to discuss today is a very delicate and complicated issue. And I cannot do that alone. So I've got with me these wonderful people with me. And one is a movie producer and the other one is a movie director. Wow. When I say it's complicated, the issues are so complicated and very delicate. I'd like to say a big thank you to Elia Kutu for my outfit, Beauty by Mona for my makeup, and also a big thank you to Ivory Decorations for sponsoring this program. Again, you are watching the Click Show on Great Television. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are live on Facebook. You can watch the Click Show on eCable and also on YouTube. And also you can watch us live on Facebook at Great um, Television. Right, as I already said, today our topic is a very delicate and uh, very complicated matter. And I cannot do that alone, so I have got with me very special guest with me. And as I already said, uh, one is a movie producer and the other one is a movie director. So, my viewers out there, I've got with me a very special man. In fact, he's so special. I don't know how he does his things, but to me, he's a very special man. And he is a movie director, and he's a Ghanaian. And he's in the person of Mr. Philip Pratt. Hi. <laughs> Hi, you're welcome to Click Show. Thank you. Okay, and I've also got with me an international woman. In fact, she's so international. Yeah, when I say she's international, I know what I'm saying. She's an international movie producer and she's also an actress. And she's the person of Helen Atim. Yes. You are welcome to Click Show. Thank you. Yeah. So much. And Helen is from Uganda. So it's a pleasure to have you on the Click Show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well. So, um, I know uh, the movie industry, uh, there is a lot going on in the movie industry. Of course. But um, our topic for today is, uh, you know, we're going to look at how uh, the movies affect um, our relationships and our marriages. But before we, we, we go in there, Mr. Philip Pratt, you're a movie director. Yes, madam. Yes. I know it's, uh, it's not easy to be a movie director. I don't know how you do your things. But um, for our viewers out there, there will be some people who will be looking up to you to also direct movies or, you know, do some stuff like what you do. Yeah. But um, because you are always here and there from one place to the other, how do you do it? Well, I will say that... It's just like um, mm -hmm. filmmaking, it's a profession on its own. And then, okay. you know, every profession has its pros and cons. Mm -hmm. So basically being here and there is part of, oh, it's <laughs> it's part part of, of the work. Okay. Yeah, so it's a matter of, um, uh, it's a matter of having your, your priorities, you understand? Because you know that um, you are a filmmaker mm -hmm. and people need you here in London, back home in Ghana, Uganda, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I even, I even have some gigs somewhere in Cameroon, you understand? Wow. But you know that, okay, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. So if that is, if that's at the back of your mind, not, not every, I would say not every call is worth it. Sometimes you have to weigh in and say, no, this film, 
at this time the film mm -hmm. is good but maybe this time i need to be with family maybe this time okay. i need to be involved in church activities mm -hmm. maybe this time so you just have to have your options and your priorities because as you get higher there are some scripts that you realize that if you find yourself in it it's going to bring oh so philip did this mm -hmm. ah i might be disappointed sometimes you have to be selective you understand that's a word so those times are the times that you have to make your choices because you are building a brand at the end of the day i started from somewhere and i'm here today and i saw someone's um, posts on facebook he said i was there doing that i'm here doing this mm -hmm. that's the whole point so yeah. it's a matter of having your priorities and your options right that's all wow yeah. wow wow you're doing a great job yeah. thank you <laughs> okay helen i know uh, you're a movie producer and i know you are a mother as well and i don't know how how do you how do you do that how do you take care of your family and also you know doing this uh, movie stuff how do you do how do you combine those things together okay <laughs> <laughs> it's a straightforward thing because okay. um for my kids, I have three kids, oh, wow. and I do talk to them a lot. Mm -hmm. So they know already, mommy sees in this because of us. Okay. Mommy mm -hmm. is trying to build a mm -hmm. foundation for us. Wow. So before I go out, you know, to like say, okay, like next week we want to start shooting. Mm -hmm. Yes, I already talked to them that, listen, by next week, mommy want to do A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. So I hope everybody's gonna be okay with me. And they said, yes, mom, why not? You know, mm -hmm. so you just, it's just the timing. I know that from 9 a.m. I'm free, but from 7 a.m. to that 8, I'm not, because I have to take my kid to school. Mm -hmm. Do you get my point? Mm -hmm. But if I have to travel, then I know family have to get involved. Like, you have to support me, look after the kids. Wow. It's still talking to them, you know, oh, mommy will be back, this, this, and that. Because I know that I'm going there for business. I have to achieve that, you know to lay that proper foundation for, for them. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So with that, we won't have any problem. Well, don't they miss you? They don't, because now <coughs> it's not like back in the days that no communication, you have to write letter and the letter will yeah, take 10 yeah. years. <laughs> 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 Do you get my point? Yeah. Yeah. But now you can just go live and oh, you talk to your kids on a video chat and things like that. They say, oh, mommy, mommy, they will say, yes, we miss you. What are you eating? This, this and that. Oh, what time are you guys going to bed? So it's, it's more like, you know, Still mm. the same, yeah. yeah. Oh, Mr. Philip. <laughs> <laughs> you are a daddy, yeah. you are a father, mm. you are a husband. Yeah. You leave your wife and kids at home. Mm. <laughs> and you, you travel from one place to the other. Now you are in the UK now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I'm your wife, I'm going to miss you. I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> so, do, do you miss your family? Or how, how do you do that? I, I, I do miss them, but let me first say, mm -hmm. my wife deserves an award. <laughs> Mm -hmm. ah, I tell you, yeah. Evelyn Abba Pratt, she deserves wow. an award because not, not any woman will, you know, will do what she's, she's done for me so far, the kind of support I've gotten from her. Because I would say that, mm -hmm. I only feel if I tell you I haven't seen my wife in two months. Really? You understand? It's, it's not a pleasant thing to say, mm -hmm. but when duty calls, you yeah. don't really have a lot of, you, you, don't, you don't really have much to do. Mm -hmm. So what I do is that, like Madame said, mm -hmm. the world is a global world now. It's yeah. no longer a small village. So any time I get, I talk to her. My son is just one year old, Jason. Oh, wow. So um, I, know, I, I, I know he misses me so much and my wife misses me a lot. So what I do is that I make sure that the least chance I get, mm -hmm. I make use of it. I make them feel that he's around, your husband is around, and I make them laugh so that even if it's one week, I make it count. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Mm. That's good to know because I know it's not easy for for you to be going out, leaving your families out there. Sometimes, you know, sometimes these are some of the things that can affect can affect yeah, their yeah, marriage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. <laughs> so, Helen, um, mm -hmm. How many movies have you produced? I'll say it's seven. Seven? Yeah. Wow. Ooh, seven. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So um, I think recently um, I saw Grilled. Mm -hmm. 
and I know, uh, you know, some of the stars in Grilled. How, how did you, how did you get there? Okay, because <laughs> Grilled, you know, yeah. it was not sad here, it was sad in Ghana. In Ghana and, okay. um, you know, all the credit is, is Philip. <laughs> yes, so you know, because it was my first time there. I don't know anybody there except um, when I went there was to go and meet Kofi at Jalula. Yes, so I was with him, and you know, but I was communicating with Philip as well. Okay. Let me say through Facebook, oh, okay. and it was uh, from Danny. You okay. know, that's when I got to know him. Okay. Yes, so Kofi said he's going to be a director. You know, Philip going to be a director, which was okay. So came and meet me and we sit together. Then mm. he did all the casting, him and Kofi. Oh, okay. Yes, to bring all the mm. cast and crew, yeah. But why do you choose Ghana, not Uganda? Or? Okay, why <coughs> did I choose Ghana? Mm -hmm. This is the thing now because mm -hmm. um, what I used to do, I was, okay, let me say I'm a businesswoman because mm -hmm. I used to run a restaurant. Oh, okay. And my restaurant used to be like, I have Nigerians, I have Ghanaian and you know, friends from Ghana and things like that. So I had one of my friends that say always talk about Ghana and I'm like, you know what? I want to go there on holiday. I want to go there. I want to go there. So when I start producing film 2015, mm -hmm. you know, Ghana was the first thing in my mind. Wow. I want, yes. I'm always like, I have to go there. I have to go there. Until 2017, I was there. Wow. <laughs> wow. Did you love it? I love it. Yes. More than loving. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so tell her, what do you love about Ghana? What I love about Ghana mm. is, you know, as I said from the airport, when I landed there, it's so different, you know, the welcoming, you know, the people, and um, from the taxi going home, then mm. the following day, I was everywhere, like I've been there. You know, anybody you meet them on the road, mm -hmm. it's like they know you 10 years ago. Mm. And one day I wake up from the hotel where I was, and I said, I'm going to church, because I, I always hear these people singing, I'm going there. And when I went to that church, it's like they know me 10 years ago, mm. you know, so, the environment is just perfect for me. Mm, mm, that's good. <laughs> very peaceful. Yeah. You know, yeah, yes, yeah. very peaceful and lovely. Wow, wow. Yes. Wow, Philip, uh, she said all the credit comes to you. How is it like working with uh, Helen? <laughs> well, I like new challenges. Okay. That's what I would like to say because um, even in the Bible, Abraham had to leave his comfort zone. God directed him that leave your father's house and go to this land. He didn't know where he was going. You understand? And I believe that as a young man, um, you have to take risk. You understand? And when you meet people like Helen, it's an opportunity because she comes from a different world and you know whatever you are doing is going back to where she is coming from. Mm -hmm. And you are broadening your, uh, your, your spectrum, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So technically meeting her was, was an experience, okay. <laughs> you know, from, from the first time I saw her, the script, how casting was done. I did a casting with Kofi. Most of the people in the film are people I've trained personally. Okay. You understand? I, I groom actors and actresses to people with the wow. talent. Mm -hmm. I take them through, mm -hmm. teach them, okay, do it this way, take them through. So I have like uh, rehearsals, massive and very comprehensive rehearsals for them. Mm -hmm. So look at the script. Of course, I wrote a script so I could say, okay, this person play here, this person play here, this person do this, this person. Mm -hmm. And you know, with, with film, what I do is that if Madame will tell you, when you see the script, you think I'm joking because it's not huge. I don't like writing plenty no. scenes. No, 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 no. I like very flat and simple things because I believe that much of the work must be done on the set. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. By talking to you, mm -hmm. something must pop up that, 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 that will make sense to the film. Exactly. You understand? Something, so you need to create a lot of room for, for creativity on set. Mm -hmm. Dialogues actions bring reactions and you as a filmmaker if you're that creative you're able to see loopholes to to fill in and other creative things to make the film go wow so seeing helen giving me the opportunity to express myself i was very happy to do and i and i did just that wow yeah wow. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> so how many movies have you directed so far Hey, that's that's going to be a difficult one <laughs> <You can't laughs> <be now>. that's <laughs> going to be a difficult one wow but, um, I would say, uh, well, I would say more than, let's say, I'm getting close to 15. 15, yeah, I'm getting close to 15. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm selective. Okay. So I can stay for a very long period of time just to come up with, with, with something.
something, mm -hmm. something exceptional. I like my movies to be exceptional, you understand? So you watch the film and you go like, mm -hmm. wow. That's, that's all I want. You see, growing up, when I was starting my career, I just want everybody to see straight away, oh, this guy is good. So anything, but as you mature, yeah. you take your time. You take your time. Yeah, that's the whole point, mm -hmm. yeah. But do you, do you love um, directing um, comedy movies or love movies? Which one is your? Um, I'm, a, I'm a very versatile person. And, you know, comedy is one genre mm -hmm. which is very difficult to do. People don't know. What I always say is that you don't need the actor to be funny mm -hmm. to create a very good comedy story, but you need a writer and a director to see comedy in their lives. Then the actor will do his or her bit. Mm -hmm. So you realize that people are able to do, people are able to make people laugh in some of our films, but at the end of the day, there is nothing in there. You understand? But if you watch um, some of the films I do, I put comedy in a content, in a contest. At the end of the day, you get served, you understand? My style of comedy is, is different from the usual one. I, at the end of the day, I tell a story, but there are hooks and traits of comedy in okay. it. And that is what I do, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay, right. Helen, um, this grilled movie mm -hmm. that you produce, uh, what was the story behind God? Because I know, <laughs> I've watched it, I've watched a, a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. It's so, you know, it's, Sometimes, for me, I, I take it as, like, um, there are some of the scenes that are so emotional, mm -hmm. some of the scenes that are, that will make you laugh, and you know, a, a whole lot of things. But mm -hmm. I want to ask you, the, the, the brain behind that, how, how what, what came in, in mind? How did you get that story? To be honest, mm -hmm. I have to just, I will always say that I will give credit to Phyllis, because Phyllis. he, okay. yeah, he's, he's the writer. Hey. <laughs> yes, he's the writer of, you know, okay. of real. And, right. um, when when we started mm -hmm. i myself i didn't know it's gonna go to that you know i thought it's just gonna be something simple we just go on set and bam, 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 and bam. That's it. do you get my point uh, and i learned a lot from him as well because when i started reading the script i was in the hotel i said yes i can do this you know my part i was reading it but every day we go on mm -hmm. set you see something different it's not on the script it's like let's do this one mm -hmm. and like that um the i will mention the, the sex scene Okay, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. it wasn't in that script. But you have to. You understand, but it. I have to do it. Mm -hmm. And yes, so it's, it's, it's Philip. <laughs> 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 I also say it's yeah. Helen, okay. because not not every producer gives you the avenue to express yourself yes. that way. You understand? Mm -hmm. And she, it was the first time meeting her, but <laughs> she had a confidence in me that okay. okay. Do mm. what do what you know how to do best, and mm. of course we nailed it. <laughs> I trusted I trusted uh -huh. Philip because you know <laughs> when you have that kind of business mind, you know what you want, you know what you're looking for. You have worked with people in the past, and you know if I see somebody and I know that yes, this person will deliver what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. You know their parents and the way they talk to you. Yeah. You know, and when I saw Philip, we sit down. You know, we talk and thing. I said, yes, this is the director I'm looking for. Mm. So I give all my trust to him 100%. Okay. You know, and I say that as a producer, because you really don't want a job that, you know, when you guys finish and you sit down to watch and you said, oh, what have I done? Well, where are we going to take this film? What are people going to say if they watch it? But mm. with Philip, it's not like that. Yes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When the trailer well, came out, mm -hmm. I was like, yes. This, this is it. different from what mm. I've done in the past, mm -hmm. and I can see where we're going to. You know, so we went to Uganda, we shoot film there as well, mm -hmm. and you know, when they, he just did a few, like a short uh, clip, mm -hmm. and when it came out, everybody's like, they want it, where's the film? Where, oh, you know, people are disturbing to, yeah. us, yes. <laughs> so wow. that's, you know, it's the trust. I trusted him, mm -hmm. and I, I was not wrong. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's good. So it's great working together. Yes. Yeah. Team Beautiful. Bad. Team Bad. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, we are Team Bad, there. yes. Yeah. Let's watch the yeah. trailer of Grilled. Grilled, yes. <laughs> I don't know how you got all you have now. Please stop before the darkness of the air comes. Look, I'm your girlfriend. You don't need to hide anything from me. Oh, look, I know, okay? I know. But you know what? I got discovered. This whole thing. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Trust you, trust you. So where's my money? Please, give me one week. For me, 
you can get anything in this world but if you go for any little girl you're putting their life at risk why don't you let sleeping dogs lie the content of this video would raise a whole lot of issues there's no tape in this thing chase them chase them chase them chase them Please, I don't know what you want from us. Hello, hello, and welcome back to The Click Show. You are watching The Click Show on great television. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are live on Facebook mm -hmm. at Great Television. You can watch us live too on eCable, and you can watch us on YouTube as well. Yes. I've got a special guest with me today on the Click Show, and uh, he's in the person of Philip Pratt, who is a movie director. And I've got um, Helen Atim. She's also an international movie producer, and she's an actress too. Wow, this um, grilled movie trailer. Oh <laughs> my days! Honestly, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's so. Some some part of it are so surprising and very. I don't know how you did this. What, what are some of the challenges you went through doing that movie, Philip? Alan, when he drew the question to you, okay. Wow, that question is nice, you know. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because me, anytime. Okay, let me talk about anytime we are on set. Mm -hmm. You know, because the locations and things like that. I don't know anything there. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, my trust is on Philip. Anyway, lead me, <laughs> you know. Oh, so why is that? Philip you says you, yes, you, you understand, <laughs> yeah. So, um, the thing is, like, the challenges, let me see. Location, like, when we're going on set. Um, okay, the weather, because I'm from the UK. Yeah, <laughs> for so long, I didn't go home. Like, for nine years, I didn't go to any part of Africa. Oh. So going to Ghana was like, you know, my first and time again okay. to go back to Africa. Mm -hmm. So it was so hot and every few minutes I'm sweating. Oh. So we went to suit in the forest, somewhere in the for forest where mm -hmm. that scene, you know, the mm -hmm. bottle, yeah, and things mm -hmm. like that. So from there, I'm like, oh my God. All I keep having in my mind is I want to find somewhere I can just sit down and enjoy <laughs> my food, yeah. Your so, food? Yes. Yeah, so oh, you love your food. Because we took food there, <laughs> watching and things like that. So oh. every time I'll be like, what time are we going to finish? I think I that day there was watching, there was yes, jollof. Jollof, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yes, so, uh -huh. you know, but I would say that everything was so perfect because Philip have a great team mm -hmm. there, you know. So it's not like, oh, this person is not coming, you have to... Because the only thing that can make things so difficult is if you cast everybody and you know you are ready to start working, and then, you know, maybe somebody will call and say, sorry, I'm sick, or sorry, I can't make mm -hmm. it, or sorry, I can't mm -hmm. do this, then you have to start all over again. Mm -hmm. But that was not like that. You know, we were in hotel for like 10 days, and we make sure we finish everything. So everything was like, pam, 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 pam. Yeah, so it was good. Wow. Philip. Yeah. So Yes, madam. Hey, Helen said all the credit <laughs> goes to you. Because, you uh -huh. know, when I just watched this trailer and I'm like, how how is he directing this thing? Uh, well, <laughs> O'Connor, I'll say that. <laughs> um, I just wanted to go for the kill. Oh. <laughs> that, to be honest, mm. I just wanted to release a sucker punch. Okay. And it came. Mm. And, you know, we have this soup, Abekati Konto, I back see. home. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's our favorite, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I wanted to give a mixture of everything. Okay. Mm. So, I wanted to tease people's appetite. Mm -hmm. And Grilled is a film, I dare you, if I don't tell you how, is, how the story ends, mm -hmm. you have no idea mm -hmm. because of the way the plot comes about. Okay. Like I keep saying, I push myself a lot when I'm, when I'm on set. Mm -hmm. I like to do more than what I've written, you yeah. understand? So, if you look at even the scenes that happen in the forest and the bottle and everything, I just if you see how I wrote it and how I shot it, they are mm. two different things different, because okay. sometimes you just want to wake up 
pick inspiration from from nature, pick inspiration from maybe maybe your beautiful wife saying something nice to you. Yeah. Then, <laughs> and my wife knows how to do it so much. Wow. You understand? So yeah, of course. Uh, for Greywood, we just wanted to make a very strong statement. It was a is the beginning of the statement we are going to make that look, okay. Africa can do it. You understand? And one thing about Grail too is that mm -hmm. the equipment we used, mm -hmm. you understand, the technical production was on point. I will commend my, mm. my production team. Mm. You understand? Okay. We all did a lot of sacrificing to get a job done. That is me. Mm. Like, um, 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 to be a good director, you must be a good, like, uh, inspirator too, because sometimes the going gets tough. Mm -hmm. For 10 days, we all leave home, we are on set, lot of issues you just have to be able to walk to this person are you That's okay yeah. what can we do sometimes i'm the type that i'm a team player you understand so i try to i try to go like hey what do you think we can do to improve our lighting mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. then it makes the person feel involved exactly that yeah. okay oh director i think we should do this then that moment the person says wow me too i've done this, I've done this. Uh -huh. so it, it was more of a collective teamwork and kofi was mm -hmm. a very good inspiration. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kofi was a very, very good inspiration. I like that for, man. Yes, yes. He, his presence uh, was like more of the godfather, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And okay. we it was teaming, teaming him up with the, the young ones coming up. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Helen, how does it feel to, to act with uh, Kofi at Oh my God. I saw you in the <laughs> movie and... <laughs> yes, Kofi, I remember when I was growing up and watching his, you know, some film he has done. And I used to say, oh my God, this man is wicked. This <laughs> man is wicked. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Then, you know, um, when I meet him, I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I keep asking him, am I with you? Because oh. I was in his house. Mm -hmm. I'm like, am I with coffee, the real coffee or no? Then we will laugh, laugh, laugh. So oh. we start the bonding before mm -hmm. we go on set. Oh, it okay. was so lovely to work with him because, um, you know, he, he's, he's more like a mentor. Because, you know, you have experience for how yeah. many years. Yeah. You know how to talk to people. You know how to bring you in that mm -hmm. mood of, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Yes. So it was, was a pleasure. Oh, okay. So good, yeah. Wow. Anyway, um, we are going for a short musical break. And when we come back, yeah, we will go straight into our main topic for today. So keep watching Click. watching us live on Facebook at uh, Great Television. You're also watching us live on uh, eCable. And I'm your host, Okonoria. Yes, your agony aunt. And I've got with me here, Mr. Philip Pratt, who is a movie, uh, movie director. Sorry, he's so fantastic. And I've got our international woman. Yes, I call her my international woman. She's an international movie producer. 
and she's in the person of Helen Atim, who is also from Uganda. Yes, um, Mr. Philip, we just watched a musical video. Yeah. Did you did you direct that? Uh, yes, um, Mighty God by Isaac mm -hmm. Bobier. He's mm -hmm. a, he's an artist and managing. So, and of course, I did a video too. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, very powerful song. Mm. Very powerful song. Mm. He's, he's a very good as it will be a new hat music. Yeah. Okay. So you are into movies and you are into music as well? I'm a showbiz person. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> well, you can send us uh, your messages. You can ask our guests any messages at all. So you can just send your messages on uh, our Facebook uh, page on Great TV. Right. I've got some messages here. Um, Helen, wow. How can producers and writers depict real African values in movies? Okay. Mm. <laughs> it's a good question. Yeah, it is. It depends on the story. Okay. You know, um, let me give example on the film that we want to shoot now, that we want to start by next week. Okay, wow. Um, oh, wait, there's a, a movie coming next no, week. No, she didn't say anything. Oh, what did she say <laughs> No, let me give an example. Okay, okay. give example. Okay, from right. yes. Assuming wow. what we should buy yes. next week. Oh, yes, it's an okay. assumption. So, okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a story, you know, okay. it's a story that we have. Mm -hmm. And when you look at that story, you'll be like, okay, do I really need Africans in this film? Like, is the story match our Africans, you know, market, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm industry or things like that or wow. is it more like international like for everybody in the world mm -hmm. to watch mm -hmm. you know so it's, it's just the story you 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 choose from there based on the story that's based where, on the story yeah that's how you're going to select you wow yeah i think philip can help me with that <laughs> <laughs> i don't write you know yeah okay I he, don't does. Write. Yeah. he does write yeah. um yeah my job is mainly i'm a producer okay. you know, yeah, I know. but i'm at the top <laughs> <laughs> you understand wow, wow. yes philip you know, i think you will help all me i out. want is i want like you know when i put my money somewhere okay. i want to see something that i'll be happy with okay. i don't care how you cost you people or whatever because when you bring it on the table i'll say no i don't like this so mm. start again. Sure. So it's based on the director. Sure. So the director, like okay. the person's question was, mm -hmm. how do we depict mm -hmm. our African culture yeah. mm. through films? films you understand? Exactly. Mm. Now, I believe that um, one time I have this friend in America, Robin Gentry. She is a writer. She's, 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 she, she, she writes some of the Hollywood productions, okay. the series. Mm -hmm. So one time, the first time I got in touch with her, she was asking me, Philip, what what comes into your mind when someone says America? Mm -hmm. I kept quiet, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, America. The first thing that comes in your mind is technology. You know, land of uh, land of whatever they say. <laughs> land of God and riches. <laughs> yes, you understand. And America yeah. is very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. They are very advanced in terms of um, 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 signs and animation and all those yeah, things. You know, sure. they are, they are far gone. Then he asked me, so what? Have you stopped to think? Or do you ask yourself, what do Americans think when Africa is mentioned? Then I kept mm. quiet. Mm -hmm. Then I said, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. She said, people have very negative perception about, um, uh, about Africa. Mm. And you guys owe Africa okay. the mouthpiece to talk. Mm. He said, you have never been to America before, but do you know America? And it's through films. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So what we put out there mm -hmm. is what the world will consume. Okay. Now, she was telling me that we, we let Hollywood people come to Africa mm -hmm. and then they will tell our story the way they want to say it. That Africans are poor. You know, they, they show some deprived areas. America has those areas too. Okay. Mm. You understand? America has those areas too, but they use their best parts to make you think that it is all rosy. Akon said something in December last year that you watch a music video, mm -hmm. you see Whisked, you see the video in a Bentley, in whatever, it is his car. It you is see his them, car. yes, you see them in mansions, it's their mansions. But mm -hmm. most of these stars we see from, apart from the very big ones, some of them, it's just set and props. After the music video, they just call Uber, but they are gone. You understand? But because we don't tell our story the way it's supposed to come. Mm -hmm. 
we we leave our story anyhow for anyone to just come and say anything mm -hmm. now we have a rich culture mm -hmm. rich 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 culture yeah. some are indigenous which needs a bit of modernizing just to fit into our society this time around yeah. but we have a lot to tell mm -hmm. do you understand so we can't use um, 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 we can't use let me let me let me put it where well before I find myself in trouble. Okay. <laughs> we can't tell our story anyhow. Mm -hmm. Let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. But your name is Okonori. Mm -hmm. Anyone who knows our Ghanaian um, 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 poetry or our Ghanaian literature knows Okonori is the wife of Kukwana Oh, and I am. Okonori. Yeah. <laughs> ok um, but the modern day children, mm -hmm. I'm sure. I'm sorry, the Ghanaians in UK, they are lost. <laughs> Even back home, a lot of people are lost. Okonore ya, kukwanaanse, tikeling, killing, nanko here, in Tikuma. These are the family. Mm -hmm. That is a Ghanaian folk tale. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, when you are growing up, when we were growing up, our parents would tell us kukwanaanse and this, kukwanaanse and okonore ya this, kukwanaanse and that and that. But the white man will make sure that as a child, mm -hmm. the white supremacy will be embedded into your skull, your okay. mind, your thinking. So you start watching Ben 10. You start watching Superman. Hmm. So it makes Kukwanansi looks too archaic. And for you, want to be like Ben 10. That is where we lost it at the hmm. moment. Hmm. And that is a gap we need to use our film to tell. to tell. Now, before we can tell our story well, that is the next direction Madam and I are taking. We need to okay. get to the level Mm -hmm. where they are mm -hmm. so that when we shout everybody will turn and look at us mm -hmm. but when we stay in our little corner in our comfort zone no matter how good we tell our stories it gets nowhere mm -hmm. so black panther did mm -hmm. a very good job yeah. spoke it there you understand so well maybe some investors are, work, are watching us some serious <laughs> partners yes in, it's very capital yeah, intensive it's very true. capital yeah. intensive yeah. to be able to because we will like imagine Grail, the movie you watch, mm -hmm. getting like uh, uh, um, 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 cinemas across Europe, just Europe for other other Africans, not just Ghanaians, other Africans to see what just came out of Africa. Mm -hmm. It will start inspiring everyone. That day True. at the Odeon Cinema, mm -hmm. I could see people were lighting up. Oh yes, people were inspired. Mm -hmm. People wanted to talk to me. So how can I do some? You exactly. understand? If we don't show, if we don't get the avenue to showcase what we have done. Mm -hmm. It is not going to encourage a lot of people. Mm. Hmm. So That's the thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Helen, do you think the current African movies is having a, a good or bad effect on the African youth? Mm. I won't say... Because when you compare mm -hmm. to, you know, in the past, mm. as I said, when I was growing up, when I watched Kofi, you know, you watch, um, let me say, people like Pesh and Ojoko. Uh, and then, something. you know, sometimes as kids, we don't even sit down to watch because you are scared, you know, like witchcraft or, you know, already when you see Pesh mm -hmm. you should be ready for, you understand. <laughs> You'll be like, what kind yeah. of wicked mother is yeah, this? Exactly. Or wicked mother in law. Mm -hmm. Do you get my point? Mm -hmm. But now, a lot of things are changing. You know, I see like African stories now, it's more of educative. Okay. You know, it's like, Kids like it nowadays as well. Like my kids, they love African films now. When they sit down, they'll be like, oh, mommy, did you watch that one? Oh, that was so touching. This was this. So I feel like, yes, you know, it's, it's teaching our kids more, more in a different, okay. like in a good way as well, that they respect African, especially the kids who are born outside Africa. Africa. You understand? Because mm -hmm. kids who are born here in the UK, let me give example, like my kids, before they don't watch African film, but now they watch it because they see that it's changing. Wow, it's something that they learn from it as well. Hey, Philip, as a director, yeah, what will be your take on how romantic scenes are depicted in movies and how do they affect the African viewer? You see, I won't, I won't be lenient or I won't be a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is where we begin to get it wrong. That is why people don't take our film serious. Mm -hmm. I'm against 100% um, nudity. Okay. But if you don't want to, if you don't want to bring it, don't try it. Okay. L let me be honest. Let mm -hmm. me be very emphatic. Mm -hmm. Because um, when 
a man and a woman enters the room, mm -hmm. they don't fake it. It's real. They do it. Hey. You understand? <laughs> so if you want to tell such, th there's a way, Elijah Ben Moore, one of the people who, you know, who told me, Philip, you should do film. He said something to me. Well, someone asked him that same question. He said, Philip, and he, we're talking about, it was a script writing conference, and this mm. same question came up. And he said that, okay, let me give you a line. You know what? I can't wait to just hold you in my arms. Then a the girl goes, come on, baby, I'm ready for you. I'm nice. so ready for you. Then, okay, let's go. You hug, mm -hmm. you just carry her, you enter the room, you, you close the door, by. Everybody knows, knows that what is going to happen. happen. Yeah. Mm. So you can use it the, the soft way. That is a soft way. But if you want to go extreme to show what happened, maybe in the course of that, something must happen. Maybe just before the real thing happens, a call comes through, the mood changes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Or maybe that scene has a strong meaning to the plot of your story. You don't have to joke with it. You have to find a very clever way not to fake it. Okay. Because before people will start taking us serious, people have watched movies. Mm -hmm. People yeah. have, because of the internet these days, uh, in, the, in the past, we have to go to cinemas every day to get new. But these days, even series and all those things, you can just sit on your in the, on a the train, you watch and it, watch on, it yes, yeah. anywhere. Yeah. And people are seeing wide variation of movies. So if we want to get there, maybe the romantic stories are not for us. But when we want to do it, I would advise any filmmaker go for the kill. Just do it the way it's supposed to be because film is fictional. You understand? You're Connery. Mm -hmm. Maybe in, in my next film, you are Mamiya. Mm -hmm. So in the film, it's not you. You yeah. are that character. character. And you must tell it the way it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> you wanted to add something? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. So when you say that, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to do it, just go for it. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. That's okay. It. Then that really give me a little bit. I will start panicking because of grilled. <laughs> <laughs> because I have a lot of people ask me questions. Was it real? Was it real? I'm like, come on. You know, it's acting. I have to start explaining. But when you are watching it, it's, you see it's like something that, you know, he happened for real. Then we did a good job, madam. Because <laughs> if people <laughs> ask, if people are saying, was it real? Yeah, people was are it asking real? a lot. That means, yes. Yeah, we'll people are asking a lot. Because I'll not cut you. Sometimes when you watch some movies where yes. people are kissing or doing mm. stuff, um, the viewers out there who are watching, they will say, oh, is it a camera trick or is it real or something <laughs> like that? Okay, like, kiss is different. It's, yeah. not, it's not a camera, like, camera trick. When you're kissing somebody that is not, you know, it's just acting. That's inside you, you know, it's acting. Yeah. You know, yeah. but you just have to make it look real. So you will kiss, but that kiss doesn't mean nothing and you won't mm. feel anything because it's acting. And like, like we are right now, there's a crew working behind us. Yes. There are lots of people mm -hmm. who maybe our viewers will not see. Mm -hmm. And like I rightly said, it is just fictional. Mm -hmm. You are the characters. Mm -hmm. An example, some people will have to kiss, uh, will have to kiss very deep for mm -hmm. viewers to feel it. Mm -hmm. Some people will just have to give a slight case and people yeah. still feel the chemistry. It depends mm -hmm. on how their blocking have been done. Mm -hmm. okay. What One thing I used to do, one trick for me, is what I call the chemistry mm -hmm. before we start filming. Okay. If you and this woman mm -hmm. are supposed to be friends, mm -hmm. before you say a word or before you laugh together, people must see, ah, these guys have been friends for a very long time. So before I will kiss you in a movie, people should even be anticipating. People should, oh, kiss her, oh, kiss her, oh, yeah. you understand? Yeah. If you don't build a chemistry well, it will mm. look very fake. Mm. So if even the chemistry has been built very well, and let's say maybe character eight, my wife is watching, so let me not say. <laughs> 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 let me stop using oh if I kiss you because no, no. <laughs> the next call will be from Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Come, did you say kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I know, okay. I know, but. But hey, Abba, please, it's just an example. <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh. like I'm saying, <laughs> like I'm oh, saying, I'm if you build a chemistry yeah, very well, yeah. and these things come from the way the script has been written, okay. yeah. and how you do your pre-production, like the rehearsals, mm. you need to make them gel and bond so well that, oh, okay. you know what? Yeah. I can't wait to take you home as my wife. Mm. Every day without you. Mm. 
Looks like 10 years. <laughs> so you see, we are laughing. All, yeah. all of a sudden, I've switched. Yeah. yeah. Then the girl will go like. So what are we waiting for? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. No obstacle. No, my parents. No, it's you I want. Then you get up. You see, you are building the chemistry. Mm -hmm. You hold her hand. Mm -hmm. Then what do you say, Charlie? Kiss it, kiss it. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Mm. Anyway, let's mm. read some messages on um, Facebook. Oh, well, I've got um, Abago. Mm -hmm. Hey, I hope I'm Abago. not in trouble. I hope I'm not in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in trouble. <laughs> she said, such an excellent spirit. Uh, Philip Pratt, that is wonderful interview. Awesome video from the Jaguars camp. Keep soaring, honey. What's the Jaguars camp? Okay. <laughs> okay, the Jaguar is yeah. actually my production name. Mm -hmm. uh, so from the Jaguars camp, you understand. Mm -hmm. And she I keep sorry, honey. Abba Gold is my wife, so oh. definitely she's watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell her something. So I think she misses you. That's why she's here. You know what, baby? <laughs> I'm in the midst of two beautiful women, <laughs> but it's you I see. Ghana is several mm -hmm. miles away, but. I yeah. see you. Whenever mm -hmm. I close my eyes, I see your smile. Mm -hmm. She knows I'm right. She doesn't. She won't take me serious because <laughs> <laughs> she knows that's not work. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Quincy Blay Junior said, "Great team." Ah, Quincy Blay, mm -hmm. team bad. Team bad. <laughs> that's your team name, or? Yeah. That's our nickname. We are bad. No, oh, your nickname. Team we are bad. bad. <laughs> we are very bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got. Uh, Oh, Abba Gold again. She said, bless you, Helen. Keep soaring higher, dear. You look great. Mm. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And we got Mona Lisa Buffer. She said, good show. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. Wanted to find out how they combine their busy schedule with family life. Mm -hmm. That is what we see. Hi. Okay. That is the thing. Mm. Maybe, you know what? I will speak to your producers. Mm -hmm. The next show, you should bring... Her husband and my wife. Hey, <laughs> so that would be that would be the best people to talk to. <laughs> to answer, to answer everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, wow. I've got Joe. He said, "Oh goodness, I'm so proud of you, Pratt." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. That's good, yeah. That's good. Well, thank <laughs> you for your messages. Keep sending messages, and then we'll read them out to them. Okay, so um, Pratt. Going forward, how do we fuse the Western content with the indigenous African uh, content and still maintain the African values? It's a very simple approach. Mm -hmm. Three things mm -hmm. I'll touch on. Mm -hmm. One, mm -hmm. I'll touch on, okay, let me start from the basic three things. I'll mm -hmm. touch on positive investment. Okay. <clears throat> let me use the word positive investment because some of us have very good scripts okay. that the world must see, mm -hmm. and it needs money. Okay. Money with patience. You understand? Like, there are business people who want to come and do film. They just want to invest 10 and get 20, and they go their way. But the African dream is a project, mm -hmm. and it's a process. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's a lost project, but we need to invest well. Okay. We need a lot of people seeing the light and saying, look, you guys will manage 10,000 to do this, but what will you do with 100,000? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can get Idris Elba. I mm -hmm. can get this, I can get that. Mm -hmm. To enhance the beast of no nation they did. I have a bigger story than that in a simple way. I'm Brad, she knows. And those who are very close to me, people have read a script. When rivers flow, that's the title. When you read a script, it's something else. Wow. But Beast of No Notion was done with six million dollars, and I think Netflix bought it for fifty million pounds or dollars. You understand? Really? Mm -hmm. Now, how can we catch up with this type of productions when we are working with maybe negative thousand percent of what they are using? Mm -hmm. How can we bridge? So we need people to support the dream, mm -hmm. not just any because people have tried and they've landed in the wrong hands and they've been messed up. They said, "No, I won't come here again." So mm. that's why I said positive investment. Investment, mm. yeah. Getting the right people and investing in them. Secondly, is getting the right approach. Right approach as in the technical delivery. Now, the world is, 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 is changing every day. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I want to shoot my next film on an Ari Amera camera. Wow. Maybe it shoots 8K. You understand? Maybe it shoots 8K. I'll cut it down to 4K just to shoot everything. Now, if you go on the internet and you check how much it costs to rent it for a day, you get disappointed. <laughs> you understand? Hmm. Now, how can we get to the Western level with the kind of stories we have? Mm -hmm. The local stories. That's quick one. I have a film called Fatia Fatankoma. No one has touched on the story of Dr. Ankoma and the world should wait for me. Did you do that? I have not shot it. It's written. It's scripted. Because oh, it's scripted. that is supposed to be some sort of a library film. We've mm. all heard of Ankoma. Mm -hmm. You understand? And people will be expecting us to tell on his political aspect. But I will touch on his, on the kind of man he was. He was. Okay. Deep behind the politics. His love life. How he met Fatia mm -hmm. in Egypt. So you see, you want to film in Ghana, you want to film in Egypt, you need all this makeshift to create mm -hmm. that 1950s, 1940s setting. Okay. It's capital intensive. And you need the very good equipment to deliver. You need a very good crew to tell your story. Mm -hmm. Then the third thing I'll talk on is distribution. Mm -hmm. When you have suffered to do all this great content, how do you get it across? to make back your money and for the world to see what you have done. Mm. These are the three things, if we were able to get right, we will start speaking the language the world is speaking. Mm. Wow. Hey. Mm. Um, Helen, mm. you know in the Grilled movie, um, I, 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 I just watched a scene and I, it seems like you were, there was a problem between you and your husband somewhere like you 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 did you 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 did some comment you mentioned some something you said i think you were going out and mm. he wanted to stop you and you said he should he should be a man or and something command like. his wife in bed yes. uh, yeah 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 original <laughs> police commander yeah. uh -huh. Command. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. does it mean if your your in the movies yeah mm -hmm. your husband doesn't have time for you mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so you want to look elsewhere mm -hmm. Right. So now, if your husband, if everything goes on well and you come back with your husband, let's look at it in real life. Mm -hmm. In real life, let's say if uh, 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 this scenario happens in real life, uh, if you compare the two, how, how difficult it is. You know, like what I'm trying to say is in the movie, you're having a problem with your husband, right? Maybe the story ends with. Um, you know, happily ever after mm -hmm. you, you, you bond. Yeah. Now, let's look at it in real life. Mm -hmm. Do you think how long is it uh, is going to take some couples or married couples to, you know, come back together in this scenario? Okay. <laughs> you know, movies, they always say this is movies. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why the name is movie. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> when you are married, mm -hmm. you know, they always said what? For better and for worse. Yeah. So if your husband don't really have time for you, mm -hmm. you know you will be communicating with your husband. You will talk over and over and over mm -hmm. and over again, because mm -hmm. we are women as well. Mm -hmm. So at some point, mm -hmm. maybe you see, it depends on everybody. Mm -hmm. You will see where that communication is getting you to. Mm -hmm. You know, is your husband really responding to your complaint, or is he taking it as nagging, or, you know. So I would say, that was just a movie. Let me it just say like that. It was a movie, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. So it depends. As I say to him, he have to command his wife in bed. You understand? <laughs> this wife is, 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 is missing the husband. The husband is doing two things. You know, like when you come home, you said, oh, I'm working as a police commander. But in the night, you are killing people. You are robbing people. Mm -hmm. So that is some kind of is something that is you know it can as a woman you feel that something is going wrong somewhere but your husband is not telling you so maybe you start finding a way out because it's not you you see it you feel that something is wrong if it's a police commander you go to your work you come home do you get my point if you're going to travel it's going to be like maybe you will tell your wife i'm going for how many days blah blah, blah. you know he's gone for work you will come back but if you see every night is out every night is out you know something is wrong. Mm. So, yeah, you, you, you start going out. Okay. Oh, you start going out? <laughs> <laughs> that, but that's a, that is a movie. <laughs> you know, that's a movie. Okay. But in real life, it will not happen. In real life, it's for too. better and for worse. Yeah. That's all I know. For better and for worse. And communication matters. Just the way you were asking us questions, how do we 
-hmm. you know, be, yeah, relationship and, and business. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, really, you have your wife and your husband or whatever. You have kids. You have to attend to them and things like that. Like Philip is here. The wife is back in Ghana. But the wife knows he's here for work. You understand? He's there, like, for his son, future, yeah, and things yeah, like that. And the yeah. wife. So definitely come for work. So when you finish, you will go back. Exactly. Do you get my point? Yeah. So it's just, it's mm -hmm. business. Okay. Philip, you wanted to say, add something? Yeah, I wanted to say that mm -hmm. from a writer's perspective, mm -hmm. if we had a chance to expand <laughs> the story between Kofi and his wife, the mm -hmm. original police commander and his wife, mm -hmm. you understand? Like, as the main grill is a TV series, mm -hmm. you'll see something else. Because mm -hmm. you know that um, there are things that, there are factors that draw a couple away from themselves and you won't right. see it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the sad thing about it. It steals you gradually. I have not been married for long, but at least um, I'm, I, I've seen enough. Okay. You understand? There are some things that <coughs> draw, draw you gradually. Sure. They draw you slowly, and you wouldn't know that you are being taken away. You understand? Like, example, I will use myself as... Uh, I'll use myself as an example. Let's say I'm a filmmaker, I'm a film director. Mm -hmm. Then I see this girl, <coughs> you understand? Because I go on set and mm -hmm. then um, my wife is not there and it's like, oh, come on. Well, my wife is not there. Uh, let, me, <laughs> let me play with this girl. That's how it starts. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. That's how it starts. Oh, mm -hmm. let me play with this girl. Come on, my wife is not here. Just, just a one-time thing. Come on. This. Then mm -hmm. the one-time thing, you stop. Maybe that's how you start. You do it yeah. once. Then, then it another time you meet her again, then it happens. Then the next day it happens. Mm. Yeah. Then it happens. Mm -hmm. Then it happens. Then that's too much. You see, mm. you begin to drift away from the original plan that, oh, I'm doing it just one day. <laughs> just one day. You understand? <laughs> you begin to drift away. Okay. So no, no married man decides or no married woman decides that, okay, I'm going for this person. Mm. You understand? Even in the Bible, the devil or the snake was able to strike when the man had left the woman for a short while. Oh, yeah. You understand? So when there is distance, I think the bridge, the proper bridge is the communication aspect. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. When you talk to, I've, I've faced temptation myself. I won't lie to you. I'm a human being. Yeah. But there are times that just by talking to your wife, you, you feel like, come on, how will I talk to Abba after this thing has been? taking place how will i feel you understand there are some things that when you have conscience you wouldn't put yourself in in that extreme situation, situation you understand yeah. just if, because you are human i'm human you understand and of course i know if i open up the number of girls that will be ah. you understand <laughs> so so you will see someone much beautiful than your wife who can offer you Maybe something that you really want in terms of maybe you can finance your next project, can exactly. do this. And you say, okay, good. Charlie, let me go after this woman just for my project. Mm -hmm. And when it's done, uh, come on, my wife wouldn't know. Yeah. You wouldn't know when you'd be drifted away. Mm -hmm. So it could happen that grilled one night, Madame, after the man left, that he's going for an operation. Mm -hmm. And he was, of course, he was going to commit murder and crime. This woman also left the house very sad, went to a drinking bar. Just to take something, just to take away the pressure. And maybe this boy in the film, you understand, was playing a guitar, an acoustic, yeah, and so singing. Yeah. You understand? And drinking and watching the boy, hmm. the woman fell in love. Like, wow, that's a nice song. Not with the boy, but with what he was, was doing. Okay, okay. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. She says nothing for the first time, then leaves. So the next time Chief leaves the house that same way, she goes back. To that, same, to that place, same place, expecting to see that performance. So if it happens three times, hmm. she's in love with the performance and not the performer. Okay. Until the boy comes to say, hi, you keep coming here every day. Are you okay? Mm. What's your problem? Mm. Then that's it. Mm -hmm. okay. So it might not be the woman's fault to cheat on her husband, but it would have started gradually. That's what I'm saying. If good was a series, you, okay. you you feel the story. Mm. Yes, I'm your one and only host, O'Connoria, and I'm your agony aunt. And I've got Mr. Philip Pratt, who is a movie director, and also our international lady. Uh, she's an international producer as well. Her name is Helen Atim from Uganda. Yes, and we are talking about how... Um, Movies affect our relationship and marriages in this 21st century. Right. So, um, Helen, 
how can the viewer interpret uh, these movies and how badly do they influence them? <laughs> do you think they influence them badly in a badly way or? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Because when you're watching film, let me say like um, Grilled, mm -hmm. when people came to watch Grilled on Friday, uh -huh. you know, it's something that when you're going back home, you you just you'll be laughing, you know, because of that old man <laughs> comedy. Yeah. You know, you pick that part of comedy. Oh my God, the way this guy was acting, he was just doing this, doing that, you know. And then the other part as well. Oh, you know, when they were chasing the girl, and then the bottle just did this and did that. You know, it's it's, it's I feel like. Africans, they are happy nowadays because of the film that we are making. They are okay. learning. As I said, they are learning. Mm -hmm. At the same time, they are happy that we are improving every time mm -hmm. our films come okay. out. Right. Do you get my mm -hmm. point? So they are learning from it in a mm -hmm. good way, not in a bad way. I won't not say in a bad, bad way. Because you have changed. Back in the days when you watch, as I said, you watch things like witchcraft and blah, blah, blah. So many people, they feel that, oh, if you watch this, you're going to learn how to do witchcraft, how to poison somebody, how to kill somebody, how to do this. But no, it's not like that. Mm. Yeah, that's <laughs> how I feel, yeah. So there's been an improvement. Yes, a lot. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Lot. Okay. Philip, how best can movies solve problems of relationships and marriages? Okay. Most, most of the time, I would say it goes back to the to the writer and then the director mm -hmm. you see you don't just put you don't just put a problem out there without putting a solution okay you understand mm -hmm. so you can tease the viewers tell them a story a drama mm -hmm. of of a guy who was a nobody mm -hmm. this woman worked all her life in the uk to save everything, to send the money back to him home, to work on his papers, mm -hmm. to come here. Yeah. They were living together, they were happy after two years. Just dumped this woman and mm. he goes. And this woman has to go through a lot of a lot of trauma, a lot of PSD, and then she almost loses it at a, at a point people think she's mad. I'm just creating something. Don't exactly, mind me. okay. <laughs> <laughs> people think she's mad. Mm. Then with the help of this new man, you understand? She picks up her life again and she has okay. learned a lot. But this new man has not proposed to her. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. And she has kids, two kids with the man who left her. Mm -hmm. Now, the man goes and then goes to realize his mistakes and he comes back again to say, I'm sorry, I deserve everything you have to say, but I see my life is not possible without you. I'm sorry. And there's a point when this woman is just about to be with this person who picked me when you left. You see, it's a nice drama. When you have such a story, at that point, you have every person watching what is going to happen next. Mm -hmm. And that's, that, that's the best place you want to put your viewers, when you can just joke with their emotions small, you understand? But aside the drama, aside the suspense, you might want to give a very good lesson mm -hmm. in the end, you understand? So you can conclude your own film. It's something I've just created. I title it Okonoria in London. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, um, Helen, want to add something? <laughs> yeah, I just want to talk about okay. the film we watched the other day. Um, you know, Ramsino and, and that A girl. private storm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, when I start watching that film, because I haven't watched it, so Philip said, can you watch this film? It's nice. So when I was watching the film, and then you get to the point that this man want to divorce his wife, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. he's this, this, this is a wife that she can cook, she can do everything, and he stopped the wife from working, and she stopped everything. Wow. And when I was watching, I'm like, oh, so you, you stop your work just because your husband said this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. Then after that, he want to divorce her. But she play a very cool, you know, mm -hmm. as a beautiful, good woman. Wow. She was there for a man, and she was not ready to give up. She just went there to the same lawyer that they were supposed to go and sign the papers and told the lawyer, I don't want to give up on my husband. So this is what we're going to do. You have to play that we are getting divorced. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, the trick is the game is we're going to stay in the same house. That's from the mother-in-law. Wow. Go, you're going to stay in the same house just mm -hmm. because of the kids. Ooh. But nothing between you and your husband no more because you are divorced. So, yeah, when they did that, came home, they started living together again. <laughs> mm. She dressed up, she go out anytime she want, you know. 
And then the man started getting jealous. So why are you going at this oh, time? That's so why are trick. you doing this? Do you mm -hmm. get my point? So why are you doing that? Mm -hmm. And the food is eating. It's not like the food that the wife <laughs> cooks. cooks. Do you get my point? So he start <laughs> to miss everything. And when I, you know, I start being, I'm like, oh, so this is the trick the woman used. Oh my God. If some women, they would just walk out. They would just give up. But she didn't give up slowly like that until she get her man back. And the man said, we can remarry again. So when they went back there, is there nothing you can do, asking the solicitor, is there nothing you can do for me and her to get back together? But you didn't want it her before. Oh. <laughs> do you get my point? Yes, yeah. yeah, so you want to watch a movie like that because mm -hmm. you want to see something that you will learn from it. Yeah. So I learned from it as well because I'm a kind of person that my body is so hot. You know, I like everything to just boom, 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 just finish it at that time. If I see something that is not really making me happy. But watching the movie, you will learn from it, oh, I wish, you know, maybe I would have done this kind of thing. Or maybe if I'm having a problem with my husband, this is what I'm going to do. You know, I, I won't give up just straight like that. So that means I'm learning something from African film. Mm, yeah. That's good. So mm. that means some of the storylines help mm. build relationships. Yeah, yes. like, like, for instance, uh, in general, apart from relationships, some of the storylines help build Mm. societal issues okay. madam you see the film yes. a new son yes a new son yeah uh, targeting talking about female genital mutilation and then oh. the way forward okay. yes you understand it's one of the films i've done so um like you rightly asked we are improving mm -hmm. we are not only using film to tell juju those things but yes. we are trying to use it to address a particular contest mm. you highlight the problem then as a filmmaker you give a possible solution yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. Then that's good. So, um, to wrap up the 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 show, um, Philip, what can you say to viewers who who loves watching movies but sometimes have some negative thoughts about a particular movie? I'll say. Um, my father told me something that mm -hmm. bad communication is corrupt good morals. You understand? So we have to be very selective with the kind of things we watch. Mm -hmm. Now, if we keep, um, there's, this, uh, there's this popular political talk by Joseph Goebbels. Mm -hmm. He was the uh, propaganda secretary for Hitler. He oh, said okay. that when the, when the lies is kept, like when you keep repeating a lie over and over and over and over, at a point, it begins to look like the truth in the eyes of the people. So when we keep watching negative things over and over and over, we'll have a very bad impression about something very good that we should have taken a good look at. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I would say we have to be very selective with the kind of things we watch. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a genre of film he or she likes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's good to try other genres too. Um, this appeal is especially to the Africans, you understand? To the Africans who find themselves in the diaspora, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. They should know that things are changing back home. Mm -hmm. And the, the earlier they embrace it, the better. Because no matter what, you and I can't be proud of British film industry because we are not British. <laughs> mm. Wow. Helen, what can you add to what Philip just said? Yeah, I would just say that um, we have to watch our films as African and we have to love it and we have to support because when you watch white people's film, you know, like I will still say when I was growing up, when we watch film like, is it John Rambo or whatever? Rambo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we used to like even make a school bag, you know, we won like a yeah, bag. Rumbles, yes. yes. Oh, we want, okay. yeah, we want that at the back of our uniform mm -hmm. or at the back of school bag. Or mm -hmm. you know, we talk about it twenty four seven. We know all the scene from one to yeah. to the end. Yeah. Do you get my yeah. point? And that's how we want our African people to just mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that will make us so happy and we'll keep delivering good mm -hmm. work every day mm -hmm. through their own feedback as well. And just to nail on the point she mm -hmm. said, Rambo and Commando and those films, we were able to watch it because of a very good distribution line. And yes. Bruce Lee. Yes. Good, those, Bruce Lee. Yeah, yeah. We need, we need distribu distribution companies that will yes. say, look, let's pick African movies. Mm -hmm. let's, let's spread it across. Even starting from Africa alone, you can do a film in Ghana and mm -hmm. it's all over Africa. All over Africa we can yeah. start from home. Charity begins at home. Our home, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yes. So, Helen, um, well, this is just um, an inspirational, motivational message that you can give to mm -hmm. anybody out there. It can be a woman or a man who also wants to be a producer like you. What okay. can you tell them? What I would, I, I always, um, I, I only have one 
or two words that I always take okay. with. Because when I started producing film, I had a lot of friends. Um, like now, I don't have any. That's what? what I would say. So when you want to start doing something, some people, they want you to just become a millionaire in one night. Some people will give you advice. Why do you want to do that? Where are you going to go with that? So mm -hmm. you know I'm a Ugandan. Mm -hmm. So Uganda, we don't really do Nollywood movies or things like that. And when I started, it was difficult because they were saying, where is he going to go with that? Mm -hmm. You know, but it's what mm -hmm. I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I put myself in one place and I said, nobody's going to stop me from this until when I achieve what I want to achieve. So how am I going to do that? It's by step by step. <laughs> Nobody built a house in one day. You start That's from, true. you know, maybe you start from the planning, then you think of drawing everything, the foundation, then you start going up and up and up until they finish. So it's not a one day thing, you know. So when you are ready for it, you made up your mind, Go don't let it. anything put you down. And don't let anybody say that you cannot do it. Anyone can do what they want to do. Anyone can achieve what they want to achieve. So if I can do it, you can do it. Because I know, as I said, I'm a Ugandan. So people said, Uganda, they don't do Nollywood movies. But my first time to take my movie to Africa, it was mm -hmm. grilled. Because mm -hmm. we premiered grilled in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And everybody was so excited. My mom wow. and my dad, were they are like, wow. Mm. Did you do this? <laughs> do you get my point? So yes, you can do it. Anyone can do it. You cannot do it if you give up. If yeah, you listen to people. If you listen to people, that means you're not ready mm -hmm. for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But when you're ready, you don't listen to anybody. Mm -hmm. Go deaf. It's true. Yes. So that's my advice. Okay, you made it. You made it. <laughs> Philip, as a movie director, I know there are a lot of people out there who are directing movies. They are going through challenges. And there are some upcoming uh, directors as well who really want to get into movie and direct movies. What can, as a professional movie director, what advice can you give those people? <coughs> There's this quote I usually, I put it in my office mm -hmm. back home that we the willing, led by the unknown, mm -hmm. is doing the impossible mm. for the ungrateful. Wow. We have done so much with very little that we are now qualified to do mm -hmm. anything with nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you ask me, that is my inspiration. You see, if the dream doesn't cost you to lose very vital things, things that are very dear to you, is a daydream. It's a daydream. But know that the moment the obstacles start coming so high, the moment people start saying all sort of negative things about you, people calling you a fraud, people calling you a thief, people calling you all sort of failure, and people, people, mm. oh, it's not possible. That is when you should know that you are getting there. That's yes. what I can say. Mm -hmm. Mm. Definitely. Wow, 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 wow. But before we end this show, Helen, mm. uh, your husband supports your career, right? I'm not married. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, but, but the people around me, yes, they support me a lot. They support you. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. That's what I was and, saying. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. the but main thing is my kids. They support me. They support my you kids. A yeah. lot, a lot. They accept everything. Like, oh, mommy, go for it. Mommy, this is good. Mm -hmm. This is because my my firstborn is twelve years old. So I always call him my boyfriend, oh, <laughs> husband. He's the one that will say, "Mommy, do yeah. it. Yeah. Mommy, yeah. Mommy, mm -hmm. go for it. Mm -hmm. Mommy, this. Mm -hmm. Yes." Mm -hmm. And Philip has got a very oh, lovely Phil, yes. wife, wife and we support children. him. Yes. Jason. Jason. Yes. <laughs> right. They've yes, been supporting Jason, yes. you. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. In your, which is very good. It gives you, the, it boosts your... Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, okay. I just want to work so hard that my son will feel proud and say, my daddy did this for me. Mm -hmm. My daddy. That's <laughs> my daddy. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Oh, wow, wow, mm. wow, wow. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much for, you know, handing this invitation to come on the Click Show. In fact, all that you have said, I think, it makes sense. It makes sense because nowadays in the 21st century, movies, a lot of movies are out there, and people have got negative things about mm. it, and all, uh, a lot of people also have got positive things about movies out there. So it's kind of a complicated because there will be a movie showing on TV and somebody say oh 
look at this. I know how it's going to end. It's not educating. It's not this. So it's something that it has been going on. And it's great to have you on the show to explain all this because I know you are professionals and you know what you are doing. Thank you very much for coming on the show. You're welcome. We are so happy to be on <laughs> great TV, you know. Yeah. Yeah, keep watching great TV. <laughs> wow, wow, yeah. Um, hello, wonderful people. Yes, we are wrapping up the show. It's been great having um, the movie director, uh, Philip Pratt, and the international uh, movie producer and an actress as well, Helen Atim, all the way from Uganda. Yeah, it's been great having them on the show. And I know they've said a lot, and you've taken some things from what they just said. Yes, um, I also want to say a big thank you to Elinia Kutu for my outfit, uh, Beauty by Mona for my makeup, and also to Ivory Decorations for sponsoring this program. And I know, same time next week, we will be on this show, and we've got so many things coming up for you. So keep watching, click, and tell a friend, tell a friend that next week Saturday, we will still be here. So keep watching. <laughs>